30 years ago when I was living in Biddeford, they were demolishing a building in the marketplace at the upper end of town and it was discovered by a friend of mine that when the wall was coming down they found an old plaque from the island house it was called. And this particular plaque I was given a few hours to take it down, take all the pieces and then eventually it was reassembled and restored. But what's significant about it, obviously the date, 1686 is down here. It's the same decade as the witchcraft accusations took place in Biddeford. And the contents, you know, it actually tells us this was originally an alehouse, what we call a pub. My hearty guests, you are welcome all when you pay for what you call. And if my pot seems to be small and there is no excise or duty, I'll pay for all. Biddeford had a large number of alehouses, we can read the records and when people got licenses or even unlicensed alehouses, people drank a lot. One of the things that surprised me when I was trying to find out about the witches in Biddeford was how many people were what we call alcoholics right through society. Yes, labourers drank a lot, they were paid in beer, not beer as part of their daily allowance, but right through to the rector of the parish church, Mr Ogilby, who had fights with, I mean literal fights fisticuffs with his parishioners during services in the parish church, mainly caused by his drunken behaviour. It was notorious. And this went right through society. The misbehaviour which happened, they were affected by drink. And that is part of the story too.